can I say it's because of the money that is why you left the teaching as well to focus on the program? Yeah, uh, well, obviously. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Kweku Tech. If today is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification icon below. Today I have with me one of the finest programmers in town. When I say finest, not only in programming, but he's also fine, like he is nice, I mean, he is handsome. Let me let him introduce himself for us to know him and where he comes from and what he does. Yeah, my name is Francis. So um, I'm a software engineer actually, and I've been in the system for like three years, I should say professionally. Uh, yeah. Okay. So can you tell us uh, where you come from and how you got into the software or the, the tech industry? Okay. So when you mean where you come from, uh, where I was born or where I currently stay? Yeah. Like where you were born like, and where you currently stay. Like. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I was born at Hohwe, which is in the Volta region. So that's where I had my basic education. So from kindergarten to primary to GHS, and then I moved to senior high school at Glando, senior, senior secondary school. So that's where I did general science. And then I moved to Cape Coast for my tertiary education. So I did Bachelor of Education in Computer Science, and then I started tech. Okay, so how come you got into the tech industry? Because maybe in your childhood, you didn't know about technology maybe you had to be a doctor or something like that yeah yeah i mean that's that's very true so growing up those were the things that we we heard of so both of my parents are, are into education so they are both teachers my grandmother was a, was a teacher wow. <laughs> my, yeah, yeah family of teachers so my grandfather was a doctor but I, I didn't grow up much with him so he passed on you know, along the way so much of what i wanted to become was in the teaching field so because I watched a lot of people growing up becoming teachers and then teaching. So teaching was part of my passion. And so basically the idea was, well, if I grew up, I would want to also be in the teaching field. But as to the specific field, I was not so certain about that. But in senior high school, I was also passionate about biology. So I remember I, I had uh, an award in biology when I was in uh, uh, Form 1. So my thought was, okay, I will go into the health field. So it was our biological sciences. But when I reached uh, SHS 2, I realized that ICT was also one thing that I really loved. And I could spend a whole prep period just reading about IT related stuff, things that I will not be examined on in, in secondary school. So I remember I was learning about Unix, uh, the Unix environment, learning you know, LS, DR, things like that. Yeah, and, and there were times that I even had 100% um, in, in, in ICT. And, and I remember that day very clearly. And so I was like, okay, if, if this is it, then I think I should go into tech. So that was it. So you started tech in the senior secondary school or university? Yeah, so I started tech in senior secondary school. But it wasn't a solid tech, I should say. I, I, I was not programming or anything, but I was kind of reading about it. So I was reading about HTML, CSS, the, the history of the internet, things like that. And it was fascinating. But... I remember when we finished senior high school, one of the things that we did was to go for um, IT classes. So I was just learning how to type some things like that. Nothing, nothing serious. Nothing serious. So was there someone who motivated you or you just motivated yourself through those things? Yeah, there, there was no direct person to have motivated me. I don't, I don't remember anyone motivated me. I think if, if I was to have someone motivate me, that would have been okay. Then it means I would have started quite earlier. Yeah, but I didn't have anyone to motivate me. So it was just my personal drive that was just into all of these things. Yeah. Okay. So which of this tech space are you into? Is it networking, programming, or? Yeah. So it's it's programming, which is more uh, specifically software engineering, and so having a product in mind, uh, and then being able to plan it out. How should I structure the database, user interface, the interaction between front end and back end, and then have the product being built. Basically, that's my focus. Okay, so what are your favorite programming languages, if I may ask? <laughs> yeah, it's a tricky question because uh, I've worked with so many languages uh, for different things. Uh, for front end, you'd want to go with JavaScript. For back end, you'd want to either go with Python or, or, or Java. And then database, definitely, you are going with SQL related languages. Um, and then for mobile application, which is something that I also do, 
there is the java aspect and then there is flutter which is what google brought in along the way and there is kotlin as well so favorite is kind of tricky but currently i do a lot of python so i would say it's my go-to i spend 100 percent energy now learning just python the, the related things around python that's nice so uh, let me ask you this question so uh has the programming uh, become your profession or you are still thinking of going into the teaching aspect yeah so i found i think i found teaching in the programming and and, and this is in a way that when i was in tertiary one of the things that um, i think I, I started doing along the way was um when i realized that i got in touch with people who were in the lower level so when i was in level 200 i got in touch with guys who were in level 100 who were also into it and i was like what are you guys doing and they said oh, we are learning this we are learning that and like, well you may not get the practical so if you have time you can organize some things and i can teach you so i realized that i started organizing guys teaching them sql um java java was the language i was taught that day those times and i was teaching them so uh, along the way i became part of google developers group trying to also teach and then the last one i was very active was the developer student club which was what I did during my final year. So I taught, I held two sessions. First semester it was about web development, and then second semester it was about mobile application development. And so I think that in the tech field, I kind of embedded the teaching as well. And so for me that's okay. So when I even got into uh, Tentable, which was where I was previously working, it was my passion to also see how I can teach what I learned. And so I don't think I would want to now go separately into teaching as a profession. I think that where I am now, I can incorporate both the tech and the, and the, and the teaching. I heard the uh, programming piece a lot. How true is that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it comes with a skill. If you are good, it pays well. So can I say it's because of the money that is why you left the teaching as well to focus on the <laughs> programming? Yeah, uh, well, obviously. <laughs> I mean, obviously, yes, yes, yes. The money, the money, the money is, is very essential, right? It's, it's, it's very necessary. So, I have not really sat out to talk about to talk about this, but I think eventually it's the money. Even and then I also I, at the end of the day I get to do what I like, like to to have the opportunity to also teach as well. It was I was trained basically to be in education. I did bachelor of education computer science, and so my course was a combination of uh, curriculum research, and then learning theories, learning methodologies, and so even my my national service. Um, and I did off-campus, which I was in a senior high school teaching ICT. So the system was training me to become a professional teacher. But along the way, I was finding being able to code and build stuff more interesting. The money was so yeah, the money was so pushing. So when we got to national service, I was like, instead of going to a school, I would rather go to a tech space and then build my career from there. So yeah, that's where we are now. Okay, sure. If you're enjoying the conversation, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's very necessary. So, uh, if you are to advise someone who is now getting into the tech industry and want to be a programmer, which programming languages will you like advise a person to go in for? Okay, so I think that there are when people usually ask this question, I ask them what they are interested in, because there are different spaces in the in the tech world, and so people who are passionate about front end, which is like they want to be able to design something and have some interactivity, you know they would want to explore languages like JavaScript so they stay relevant in the front-end department. And then for those who are also interested about logic more, more of logic and they want to be able to make things work faster, speed and all of those things, then they want to go into backend. And so for those places, you can use languages like Java and, and then Python. And probably I'm a bit biased towards these two languages because that's the ones I've used more. I've used PHP before. PHP 2 before in my earlier career these are the languages within that domain but strongly python is, is okay which is what i do right now so that is also the aspect but for some people who don't know where they want to go into they want to just explore you can start with any of them and even do both you end up doing front end a bit back end a bit and even some mobile app application development that is also fine so should i say if you want to become a front end developer you should focus more on javascript and back end you should rather go for either python or java yeah yeah i think that that is the recommendation because in the front end javascript is what is at least at the moment oh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, it seems the questions are finished so <laughs> what are your last words for our audience before you leave yeah so i, I would say that um tech has been interesting 
the journey has been interesting there has been so many challenges but i think eventually we are finding our foot and so it's a good thing and then also for everyone who is listening or watching us right now i would like you to subscribe to Kukuku Tech and then get more of the content as they come thank you very much thank you for your time and thank you see you in the next episode Peace.